What up, peeps? This is Get With It Sports, place where you get your sports with a little swag. Coming to you once again with NBA Notes. And I will be talking about Game 2 of the 2015 NBA Finals. Game two was at Oracle Arena, Oakland, California, home of the Golden State Warriors. Finished off the season with the best record. The most complete all-around team out there going up against Cleveland Cavaliers. That's missing two of their three superstars. And they're resting all of their their whole finals the season on LeBron James. And LeBron James just showed you why he is the best player hands down in the league this era now i'm not gonna sit here and compare michael jordan to lebron james if you listen to the podcast that i've done recently if you listen to three-point conversion sports lounge i will not compare them to two separate eras but this era 2000 hands down lebron james era he showed you last night played 50 minutes Scored 39 points, 16 rebounds, 11 assists. This piggybacking off of game one where he dropped a career-high 44 points. Uh, other players on the team that contribute, Timothy Mozgov, 17 points, 11 rebounds. J.R. Smith, even though he, did, he has three stupid fouls, he drained 13 points, and Tristan Thomas grabbed 14 boards. But another player that was important to this game. Might not have scored as many points, might not have grabbed as many rebounds, but but was very important to this game was Matthew was point guard Matthew Delavadova. He he took the starting starting spot after Kyrie Irving went down with his fractured kneecap. Didn't look too good in game one, but he looked good in this game. For a simple fact, I know he's out of 42 minutes that he played and he only scored nine points and grabbed five rebounds. He played hella five defense on the reigning MVP, which is Stephen Curry. Stephen Curry is known to to drop threes from anywhere on the court. But the key to this game was that he if you put pressure on him, keep somebody on him 24-7, even as you run through the, the picks. If that player run a, a run on top of the picks and stick with him, give Stephen Curry the flux. It was show last night. Even though Stephen Curry scored 19 points, he was 2 for 15 in three-point shooting and all around field goals 5 for 23. 5 for 23. We talking about Stephen Curry, who we haven't seen a shooter like this Ever, Matthew Delavadova did what he's supposed to do and did a great job. So, so kudos to Matthew Delavadova. Yeah, I'm giving props to the Cleveland Cavaliers because they show some spunk to me. Even though you got players going down, major players going down. All you guys out there, I ain't gonna, okay. Let me let me let me retract that. Some of you guys out there, I seen on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus. After uh, Kyrie Irving went down, oh, this is going to be a sweep. Uh, they don't even have a chance. Now, I, I'm not changing my pick. Golden State will win this series in six. But after Kyrie went down, I thought it would be five. All you guys said sweep. I couldn't give a sweep. I have to give a gentleman sweep where I gave Cleveland Cavaliers one game just for the simple fact they had LeBron James. But back to Stephen Curry, he had a bad game. Klay Thompson had a pretty good game, 34 points, five rebounds, two assists. Everybody on the team could try to contribute the best they can. James, LeBron James, let's not forget another thing about LeBron James. He recorded his fifth career NBA Finals triple-double. And I think he got 13 all together. Great job, great job. Matthew Della Vadova. I told you about his defense. I told you what he did to Stephen Curry. Let's, let's break that down a little bit more. The reigning MVP did not score a point when Matthew Della Vadova was sticking him. Did not score a point. Curry was 0-8 and had four turnovers 
when Delhi was sticking up. Great job, great game. So far, it's been a great series. I heard it's been breaking like a couple of records of people watching, it, especially in overtime. So if this is what we got to look forward to, I will be watching every game. And after every game, I will be here giving you my NBA notes on every game. So like I said, great first two games. It's a split. They go to the Q, play in Cleveland. LeBron going home. If you ask me ahead of time right now, how this, how it's gonna look with the two games in Cleveland, I can see it be another split. I think uh, Cleveland will win another game. Golden State will win. I think Cleveland will win game three and um, Golden State will win game four. It's gonna be a great series. They will be going back to Oracle Arena, two and two. Um, so that's all I got for you. Thank you for watching. If you have subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Hit the subscribe button because I will have more NBA notes, more sports notes. That's going to be my thing now. I'm going to have other people join in on conversation on Two Cent Deposit on Sports. But for now, that's all you got. That's all you need. Um, before I leave, another thing that ticked that kind of tripped me out. After game two, they said that Steve Kerr got outcoached. Really? Really? By whom? LeBron James? Tyron Lue? I'll be damned if y'all are going to see and tell me that he got outcoached by David Black. I'm going to say it time and time again. David Black is not an NBA coach. And you guys out there, that's a, that's a, uh, that's a uh, Dave Black supporter, listen. Don't go by what I say. Go by what you see. Point I'm saying is after game two, when LeBron James was giving everybody chest bumps, daps, hugs, all that stuff, Dave Blatt, if I could find a video, I'll put it on here. But Dave Blatt tried to get a hug <laughs> from LeBron James. LeBron James gave him the GTOFH. If you don't know what that is, take time, let it marinate, think about it. But that's what LeBron James gave to him at the end of the game. So if LeBron James doesn't respect David Black, how you expect me to respect him? He's showing you that he, he don't consider uh, Black as their coach. And I'm just going to leave it at that. Look at how he treats Eric Spolster when he was in Miami. And look how he's treating David Black now. And I'm just going to leave it at that. So thanks again for watching. This is going to be a great series. Check me out after game three. And uh, as always, from Get With Sports, be good, be safe, get with it. Peace. Go Hawks.